straight below the, the shutter control and the bar control is the audio sector. Now here's a place where you want to pay specific attention or, or particular attention because this is where a lot of people can easily get messed up with this camcorder. If you're using the internal mics, then we're going to be sure that we set these switches to internal. If you're using external mics, we're going to set these up for external or we might be using internal on one channel and external on another. Either way, this is where we're going to set it up. So here's what we're going to do. Let's just have a quick look here. This first switch here is channel one select. This allows us to set it up so that it is, is set up for an internal microphone. It allows us to set it up so that we're using external input number one, or we can use it for in external input number two. So even though it's channel one, that just simply means it's audio channel one, but we can, we can use an input from the plug that is labeled channel two. If that doesn't confuse you, wait till we get to channel two. So we'll flip this back up so that we're using the internal microphone. And here we have channel two select. Now we can set this up to use internal, so it's using this microphone at the top. We can set this up so that it's using uh, input number two. So this channel can't use audio from the, the uh, input labeled channel one. It can only use audio from channel two. So why would that possibly be that way? Well, the reason that it's set up this way is because it's a common practice in the broadcast world to have one microphone feeding two channels. And what we do is we set up channel one for normal use. In other words, we set it up for normal audio levels. And then we set channel two for about 6 dB lower than channel one. And that's called a safety channel. So what happens there is when somebody speaks loud or maybe there's a, a loud sound that occurs nearby, that sound might distort channel one, and we've got channel two that we can use as a fallback or as a safety channel. So that's why we have three different inputs on channel one and two different inputs on channel two. So moving on farther back, we've got a switch here that allows us to turn on or off phantom power. So if we're using an external microphone, in other words, if we're plugging a microphone into channel one or channel two input block, and that microphone is a condenser microphone, a microphone that requires external power. It might have a built-in battery or it might require that the camera power that mic up. Then you're going to turn on the phantom power button. Now, even if your microphone has got a built-in battery, I recommend flipping the phantom power on to power that microphone because that way we've got a little bit more consistent power source than that uh, 1.5 or, or 3 volt battery that's built into the microphone. However, if you're using the internal microphone, make sure these are set to off as that'll extend your battery life by not using the phantom power. So again, external mic, turn phantom power on if it's a condenser. If it's an internal mic, turn phantom power off. That'll extend your battery life. Next menu is the card functions option. It's a pretty quick menu. There's not a whole lot buried down in here, but it's important that you know how to use this menu and what to do in this menu. I wish it wasn't buried quite so deep because of the very first function. So let's scroll down to the, the menu options. First of all, card format. Do we want to record the, to, to uh, format the card or do we simply want to erase the card? Always, always, always format your cards after you've dumped your data over to at least one storage source instead of deleting clips. When you delete clips, you leave behind index information and other information about the files that were left on the card. And eventually, you can fill the card up with a lot of little detritus and you can run into some problems in recording. Always format your cards regardless of which file-based camcorder you're using. It's critical that you format instead of delete. Okay. So we can go in and tell it whether we want to format the card, and in this case we don't, but we simply want to choose uh, the format option. Next, we have card status. Do we want to display the card status or not? Well, here we can see what the card status is. We can see how much time is recorded and how much time remains on the card. Now we've got it set up for uh, SD standard, so this is just a way of knowing exactly what we're dealing with with the uh, which kind of card media we, we're using in here. Make sure that when, when you're choosing a card, you always choose a class four or higher. Again, class four or higher. And this will prevent you from running into issues with your camcorder and the different kinds of recording media that you may be working with. 